Hi everybody, this is Eli Pariser. I'm the Executive Director of MoveOn, and I'm here today in our first ever MoveOn web conference chat with Congressional candidate and progressive superstar, Darcy Berner. Hi Eli, it's great to be here, and I want to thank the members of MoveOn, because this grassroots people-powered politics is exactly how we're going to take back our country. Awesome. So, Darcy, let's start with the basics. Why are you running for Congress? <laughs> well, in 2003, when I was a very happy Microsoft manager, there were two things that happened in quick succession that really changed my perspective about what I needed to be doing with my life. The first thing was that my son Henry was born, and I did what I think all new parents do. I said, how do I give this child the kind of life I want him to have? And while I was still home on parental leave with him, contemplating that question, my brother Jason marched into Iraq with the initial invading force. Mm. I have a very clear memory of standing in my kitchen packing a care package for Jay while I was holding Henry and realizing that there was no set of choices that I could make that was going to be sufficient to give my son the kind of life I wanted him to have unless we changed the direction of the country. So I did what any sensible mother would do. I quit my job and left my career and ran for Congress. Wow. Well, in Iraq, I know in particular, you've been especially involved in, in this issue, and you've been organizing your fellow candidates, actually, around this the, the responsible plan. Can you tell folks a little bit about that? Sure. Well, voters were asking me, and a lot of other candidates in the country, not just whether we were going to end the war, but how we were going to do it which is a totally legitimate question. So I sat down with retired Major General Paul Eaton, who had been Petraeus's predecessor in Iraq, and we worked out what a responsible end to this war would actually look like. We put together a road map, um, and there were initially 10 candidates, including myself, who rolled it out in March, uh, and we quickly went up, were, went up to more than 60 candidates who had endorsed the plan and took it out in this very grassroots, people-powered way. And now, when the presidential candidates are talking about Iraq, the debate is about the details of how they're going to responsibly end it, not whether they're going to. Right. Well, you know, it would be great to have thinking like that in Congress. And, and I know, you know, a lot of the times the difference between winning and losing comes down to, to the brass tacks. So, you know, what do you need to put yeah, this thing over the top? Well, the biggest thing that we need is about $320,000 so that we can stay on television between now and Election Day. Seattle is one of the most expensive media markets in the country, and we can win this if we can stay on the air. But we've actually got ballots dropping this week to voters, so we're going to need every dime of help that we can get. Got it. Well, you know, as it happens, people watching this right now are on a page where they can donate. Uh, you want to point that format to them, or should I? I would be happy to. So if you look down at the bottom of the page, uh, there is a form that you can fill out to help me, and not just me, but a couple of other candidates uh, who are fantastic and who I think the world of. Um, Jim Himes in Connecticut and human rights champion Tom Perriello as well. Uh, please do everything you can to help us get to Congress um, because we can change the direction of the country working together. Well, thanks so much for, for taking a few, t a few moments off the campaign trail to talk to us. And, you know, we're rooting for you. And uh, for everyone tuning in, thanks for, for all you do.